What's up guys, Shane with Finley here. I'm out at River Valley High School, appropriately in the weight room with heavyweight wrestler, Michael Doolin. Mike Doolin. Is that right? <laughs> Doolin? Doolin. Ah, okay. And uh, you are here because you just won regionals. Yes, I You did. went 3-0. Yep. Which I just learned in our first take, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, you're headed to state. So right. tell me a little bit about it. Um, well, I'm very excited. Uh, this will be my second year going. Last time was sophomore year. Unfortunately, we couldn't wrestle last year because of COVID. But um, yeah, I'm ready to go do season. it again, huh? Yep. Now, how did the experience of already being there once play out? Is that is that play a little bit of benefit to you? Um, yeah, it'll definitely definitely won't be as nerve wracking. You know, I'll go in there, I'll know what to expect, and uh, do my thing. Coach, tell us a little bit about it. How, how's he treat you? Good wrestler? <laughs> yeah, Mike's a good wrestler. He's uh, he's he's uh, he's fast. He's strong. He's determined, you know, I, and he wrestles in a big class, you know. That 285 pounds is the top limit. Mike goes in about so 240. So we're talking so. about that. Being 240 in a 280 weight class, that's that's a pretty impressive accomplishment, right? Yeah. Yeah. Makes it, Maybe, makes huh? It's a lot harder. <laughs> it's definitely a lot harder. We, I'd actually had the, the opportunity to see him wrestle a couple of times, and the guys he wrestled, I mean, they were enormous. I mean, not, not yeah. just big guys, but they're big guys. And, uh you know, to see you go out there and manhandle them and come out of that with the wins, pretty awesome. So, yeah. um, where do you guys wrestle at in state this year? We're wrestling. It's at the uh, Memorial Coliseum. Where you know, I guess it used to be the Madhouse on McDowell. I'm dating myself. We need a, we happened. need a list of all the names it's had, so every generation <laughs> right. knows where it's at. Okay. Right. All so right. it's down in Phoenix, and uh, and all the teams from the state are coming in there. Um, Mike will be wrestling a 16 man bracket. Uh, he's seated number three going in, uh, but there's some dogs in there. So we'll see. So what are you, no predictions of what you're saying? I think Mike's got a shot to take the whole thing, to be honest with you. That's I what mean, I like to hear. You know, yep. he's, he's an exceptional athlete for that, that, that group. You know, he's faster and, you know, yeah, he's lighter, but he's, he's pretty quick and he gives those guys some trouble. Well, do you have like a particular rival in that thing that you're looking forward to or uh, everybody's the same, right? Just, just blank gray faces out there. Yeah, everyone's there to be beaten. That's a, that's a true wrestler's mentality. So now we talked a little bit earlier about this. Um, the next part of being athlete of the week is your grades. Uh, good GPA, favorite classes. Wait. Oh, we thought it was yearbook. What happened? No. So weights being your favorite class. That get me here, get your work done, and you're freed up for, for uh, wrestling practice, football practice after school type thing. Yeah. Well, we still wrestle right before. We still lift weights right before wrestling practice every day. So every day. Mm -hmm. Now, a big thing of you guys have been following us all year is multi-sport athletes. Hit. How has wrestling helped football? How has football helped wrestling? Is it go hand in hand or is it counterproductive? Well, I think wrestling by far helps every sport out there, especially football. Football for sure makes you. What, what's the most beneficial part of doing both? Doing both, man, yeah, um, a lot of people take a break in the off season, you know, and that gives you a chance to <clears throat> just fall out of shape, you know, you gotta keep up on it all year I long. I took a break for like 15 years, so <laughs> I, know that, I know that all too well, so. Uh, any any other uh, things you want to mention? I know that you guys had a kind of a tough break with some injuries, some other guys that were uh, on pace. How's that yeah. affect the team? Is that is that something yeah, you know, has we, to deal with? We did. We took a couple tough injuries right at the end. You know, uh, that we had the athlete a week. Skinner John, he got injured. Uh, he was most likely going to be a state qualifier. Uh, and then we lost our 215 a week before the meet. Oh man! Uh, and he really had a good shot. He was really looking good at the time. Um, so Andrew Cervantes, another good student athlete. Um, but you know, you just got to press on. The the one thing about wrestling is team sport. But when you get the sectionals, it's really individual because you're just wrestling through your weight class. So, um, and then like the rivalry thing, he doesn't. There's a lot of those guys he's never seen before. Oh, you nice. know, he kind of just took all care over of, the state, right? Coming in, yeah. So he took care of his rivals on Saturday <laughs> and put the sectional. Are any of his rivals did. gonna be in? Did they qualify for state also? Yeah, or? they did. Yeah, they did. Um, so they're hoping they don't see you again, right? They don't want to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, I know that we uh, took a lot of your time today. We really appreciate it. Man, we're proud of all you guys from the area going out representing our area and state. Uh, this is for you, young man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And uh, sorry we made you do this twice. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get a quick picture and get you back to work, man. All right. Thank you all very right. much.